Hi, my name's Cameron Giroux. I'm the terminal supervisor for Sprague Energy. We're lifting up windmill components, tower sections, blades, the top components, hubs, drives, and nacelles. We're using Manitowocs. We have MLC 150s, we have a 250, and we also have a 300 VPC. Right now we have three crews. We have a crew that's unloading the vessel, which has blades on it that are 250 feet long. It takes two cranes to take it off the vessel, set it onto a truck under the dock. It gets trucked up to the upper yard or lay down yard. It takes two cranes to take it off that. Our pick points are about 180 feet apart, so we'd need a 180 foot bar to do a single pick, so that's why we do two crane picks. We rig it with slings and shackles and hooks, and then one end is also rigged with a block and tackle. It basically keeps the tip even, so there's no torquing of the blade itself, and then we stage it. The third crew is our loadout crew, and they are staging the windmill components after they've been stored to go to their destination the following day. We started this in January and will end in October, from the start of the first blade coming off to the last blade leaving. Right behind me, we just set a top down on our dolly trailer. This is for loadouts we're hauling to site tomorrow. We've also been unloading a blade ship down at the pier, hauling them up back here into the lay down yard. There's 51 blades on there that we've been shuttling the last few days. Prior to these Manitowocs, we used friction cranes. Our last project, we started with a Manitowoc 100 and the functionality of it was fantastic and the component sizes are getting bigger and heavier and longer and Manitowoc series of cranes from the 100 up to the 300 suits us best. I think it shows that Sprague is looking out for the operators to make sure that they don't have to worry about an older crane and whether it's going to work or not. First and foremost it's all safety you know there's a lot of guys around and to have a nice reliable crane that's not going to quit on you, nothing's going to break on you, you know it's inspected well, it's everything. These are incredible, they really are very, very smooth and we haven't had any issues whatsoever. We have stuff going out and we have it coming in in all facets. We have a ship, we have a barge, we have rail, just the complexity of everything coming in. Trying to make that seamless is probably the hardest part and these cranes help us with that. If they were constantly breaking down, then that seamless logistics would be a bottleneck and it would continue. The overall efficiency of the cranes plays a big part in what we do for the offload. It keeps the offload on schedule and it also keeps our delivery to site on schedule as well. Some of these components are upwards of 150,000 pounds. You know, the reliability is crucial because if you have one go down, it stops all production for the day. The biggest factor for me in starting out with the critical lift process of what we were going to do for these projects was the relationship that I and in Sprague more so have with Shaman. We were given numbers and what these components consisted of, weights, lengths, style, and then we put our heads together with the Shaman crew and having the knowledge of what each crane can provide, all Sprague needs is the load chart. And then when they're coming in truckloads at a time and Shawmut assemble these in a day to two days, it's pretty amazing to watch. We take great pride in making sure that Sprague keeps these components moving and Manitowoc provides us that. <laughs>